Hi, tenor saxophones, welcome back. In today's video, it's Accent Book 2, page number 12. On page number 12 in the upper left-hand corner is the note C sharp. The fingering guide is there as well. We'll use the first three fingers on our left hand and the first three fingers on our right hand and our right pinky for C, and we'll add one other pinky. We're gonna add our left pinky right here on the C sharp spatula key. So use the fingering guide on page 11 for more detail. After beats are eighth notes played after the beat. And some people call that the upbeat because it's after one on the and or after two on the and. We'll use after beats in our duet down below. In the key signature box, it shows us two sharps in the key signature. Those two sharps are F sharp and C sharp and the key signature is D major. Transposing means that you're rewriting a melody, beginning on a different starting pitch, but using the same pattern of half steps and whole steps. We'll do some transposing at the end of today's video. Our first exercise is number 34, minor episode. It's gonna use our new low C sharp fingering, so review the, the fingering diagram on page 12. It's got a B flat in the key signature and four four time. We're gonna get started and play through it. Remember a B flat. One, two, E, and the ready, set, go. Next is America, God Save the Queen, a traditional piece. And it's in two sharps in the key signature. So remember at the top of the page, that's the key of D major. And it's got F sharp and C sharp. The first note in the second measure is a low C sharp. Make a note with a pencil in case you might forget. Also, check the rest of the song for C's because they'll be C sharps. Here we go. One, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> Definitely a fun one to play. If you made any mistakes, pause the video, practice this song, rewind and review it one more time. You'll get to see the progress you can make in just a short amount of time. Our next piece is the Old Brass Wagon Duet. It's an American folk song. It's number 36, and I'm gonna start by playing part A. You can join me, or you can play part B for an instant duet. Part B is where the after beats are in measure two, four, and six. One E and a two, one and two, and one E and a two, here we go. <laughs> Part B. One E and a two. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Next up is a piece by Felix Mendelssohn. It's the theme from A Midsummer Night's Dream. It's in cut time. Do you remember what cut time means or what cut time stands for? If you guessed it's by reducing each of the notes in half, you're correct. Cut time takes the value of a whole note and gives it two beats. It means that a half note is one beat and a quarter note only gets half of a beat. So play a whole note and make it sound like a half note and play a half note and make it sound like a quarter note. And you know those quarter notes? Make them sound like an eighth note. 
Well, what happens when you get to eighth notes? Well, they turn into 16th note sounding notes in cut time. So at the beginning of this exercise, those four eighth notes will be counted one E and a like 16th notes. Give it a try. We'll play number 37 twice. One E and a two and ready, go. <laughs> Let's play it a second time. One E and a two, and here we go. Now we're at the bottom of the page, and let's do this accent on theory. It talks about transposing. Remember at the top of the page, transposing is rewriting a melody, starting on a different starting pitch, but following the same pattern of half steps and whole steps. We learned about half steps and whole steps on a previous page. Go back to that page and review if you need to. But simply put, they want us to use number 35, America or God Save the Queen, as our reference song to do a transposition. In upper number 35, we started on the note D and we played. Well, what would that song sound like if we started on the note F, like in number 38? Write down with a pencil the notes that you think we would use to play America starting on the note F. And then below that, on the second line of number 38, how would America sound if we started on the note G? <laughs> Try figuring out those notes and write them in on number 38. Then play through the song a few times to check your work. Until I see you next time, though, keep practicing.